a lot of my scenes were just between Tom and I or Tom and Jerry and I. So it was this really kind of fun uh, creative experience of improving opposite nothing and imagining in my head what they would mime back. We would rush home every day from school and watch Tom and Jerry. And there was, I remember there was two episodes and if you got there at home at three, um, then you could watch the three and the 3.30. And for some reason it was just, I, I, I don't know, we, would, we just loved it. I will not let this hotel be ruined by a cat and a mouse. He's dying on us. I think I might have just pulled this off. Really? Everybody in the bouncy house go bouncy. Chloe, it's great to see you again. Great to see you too. Are you staying safe? Are you staying warm? Yes, actually, uh, you all have turned out to be my good luck charm. Thank you for asking. Yesterday, our, our power has gone on and off, and yesterday it went back on 30 minutes before I was talking, you know, to talk with Michael Pena, your co-star, and today it just went back on an hour before I get to talk with you. So Tom and Jerry movie has turned out to be my good luck charm. There we go. That means we just got to keep it on repeat, watch the movie over and over and over. I, I, well, I just told the studio too. I said, let's just film interviews all day today and tomorrow so that my power will stay on. Hey, yeah. um, I'm starting with everybody. The same question. Are you team Tom or are you team Jerry and why? I'm team Tom. I think it's, you know, people always say Jerry, but I think Tom is just the sweetest. He's so kind. He really tries to do his best and he just fails, but I love him for it. Oh man. To be honest, I think team Jerry, just cause he, by the way, I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I live like a boring life. I golf play chess and you know what I mean? I'm like, I play the drums um, and that's pretty much all I do. So like I, I live, what some people would consider kind of a boring life. So that's why Jerry seems like, wow, that's cool. He's like kind of mischievous. Can I tell you right now, I'm team Jerry as well. Even before I asked you that question, I was going to tell you that just because he is mischievous and he just, he just more creative the way that he comes back after Tom. Am I right? Yeah. 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 But now that I'm, I'm, I'm older, I kind of see Tom's point of view a little bit better. And I have since become a cat person over the last couple of years where I wasn't before. So we have an argument for all that. So I've opened with your cast, the same question I'm gonna ask you right now. And you have to be honest with me. Are you, and I know for you, it's like a parent and his kids, but you're gonna choose. Are you team Tom or are you team Jerry um, and why? I'm definitely team Jerry, um, mainly because Jerry's just like cool, like his swag. He just, you know, nothing rattles him. He just kind of can deal with it all. When I was young, I wanted one of his mouse holes that has all the furniture, a place where I could go and close the door and have my own privacy. And so I'm, I'm Jerry, definitely Jerry. I am as well, and so is Michael Pena. So we're, we're all together go. on that one. All right, no spoilers, but I want to talk about the filming because it is live action animation. What were you all looking at while you were, uh, no spoilers again, but while you were looking at, at, at some scenes, well, okay, we can say when you're looking at Tom and Jerry, how did you film those? Well, we had some expert like puppeteers come in and, you know, they, they, they built some, some puppets that were um, the actual size of what Tom was actually going to be. And, and also Jerry, when Jerry came in, it was so cute. It was, you know, small, obviously. Um, and, you know, they were, they were handling the puppets and we were reacting to them. Um, and it was one of those that, you know, and they could, they, you know, they can react and, and show different emotions. Like these guys were really, really good. So it was um, obviously no spoilers, but it was really easy to, to act with these uh, puppets. Michael told me that you all were working with puppets to film some of the scenes. How challenging was that for you as an actress? Um, you know, it was definitely a really fun challenge to take on head on, quite literally. I mean, we were we were really jumping in head first into the situation and all trying to figure out how it works and what to do. Um, and I I love that that struggle. I love that challenge. And, you know, a lot of my scenes were just between Tom and I or Tom and Jerry and I. So it was this really kind of fun uh, creative experience of improving opposite nothing and imagining in my head what they would mime back. And then continuing, continuing to improv on top of that, because the further I went, the animators could go even further in post-production. So, you know, it was really kind of no holds barred. What can you tell us about the, the challenges to filming it? Because, I mean, you've got 
so many huge scenes with so many things going on. Um, you know, how, how did you do it? Well, it's like me doing the movies I've always done with uh, no actors. And you're just having to make all these choices on your own. So the, the difficulty was for me is one, you have to plot out what these characters were going to do. And I'm so used to having that input from an actor and just kind of, um, you know, with along with my ideas, kind of trusting their choices. And here you have to literally figure out what a cat and a mouse would do and sometimes a dog and figure out what they were going to do and where were they, they, they were going to stand. And so you're kind of having to be um, uh, three people, not just being the director, but also uh, figuring out this. And then, of course, you throw it at the cast and the cast has to figure out, OK, well, how am I speaking to this person? Where am I speaking to? So it was one of those things where you just don't have all the tools you're used to, knowing that later on it will be in there and, and look pretty amazing such a classic you know cartoon I, I watched I guess we can call it a cartoon I watched this as a kid yeah. but I'm curious what your family and your friends think about you being in a Tom and Jerry movie because I think it is freaking awesome dude yeah I gotta tell you my brother was probably the most excited because uh, we would rush home every day from school and watch Tom and Jerry and there was I remember there was two episodes and if you got there at home at three um, then you can watch the three and the three thirty, and for some reason it was just I I, I don't know we would, we just loved it. Uh, we loved that and a couple of other ones, but he was really excited. And also because you know he watches so many um, animated movies, especially with four kids, that now that his little brother is in one, he can watch it with his family. Um, some of my earliest memories are Tom and Jerry, quite frankly. Uh, you know, and I and I really think it's because they were silent characters, and there was this wonderful soundtrack and these incredible sound effects that before I could understand what people were saying or what comedy was, I could understand their silly antics on screen, and it just you know made my eyes light up. You know, I watch these. I guess we call them cartoons. I don't know what else to call them. Yeah, I, call, I always call them cartoon shorts. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I was a kid, my brother and I loved. Tom and Jerry religiously tuned in at three o'clock in the afternoon. So, you know, when I, when I heard there was going to be a movie, I was like, this is awesome. Where did this start with you and how excited were you to bring this to life? Well, as you talked, I, I finished Shab, which was at the same studio and they started talking about, you know, some other projects and Tom and Jerry came up and I remember being able to rattle off like episodes just off the top of my head. So when, that's always a good thing when you know the product that well. And so then I said, but of course you're going, how do you make a movie out of these guys? You know, I, I'm just not sure if that, if that thing can last for 90 minutes. And so I read the script, the script was brilliant. And I just said, I gotta be a part of this. Um, there's not often where you get product that you almost don't even need to do research. You just need to um, kind of uh, buckle in and kind of go for it. So this was one of those. What an interesting thing to say, you're true. Uh, that's, that's so true because we all know Tom and Jerry. And we you're opening it. it up for a new generation because even the, my producer at the art station here in Houston, she's like, I can't wait for my kids to see this. They've seen the trailers and they're like, Tom and Jerry, what's that? And they want more, they're like drawn into it. Your character Kayla is a wedding planner. Would you, now that you know more about that job and what it entails, would you do it maybe even for a day, become a wedding planner? I feel like it's probably one of the hardest jobs out there being a wedding planner. I mean, because you're basically doing like high level, you know, event planning and management of all those working pieces. And you have to hope that all the vendors show up and all of it goes correctly. No way. I, I don't have the brain for that. That I don't have the management skill for that. Everybody in the bouncy house.